Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at the standard Cascade event featuring Gruul Aggro. And at the time of recording we already know the updated band list for standard, which includes Oko, Thief of Crowns, Veil of Summer and Once Upon a Time. But we can still use these cards in the standard Cascade event for the time being. And Once Upon a Time in particular is pretty busted in this event because we get the Maelstrom Nexus Emblem, which basically says whenever we cast a spell we get to Cascade, which means we get to reveal cards from the top of our library until we reveal a non-land card with a lower converted mana cost and then we can cast a spell for free, which means that if we start with Once Upon a Time in our opening hand, we can cast it for free and hit a 1-drop out of our deck and uh, getting to start with an extra 1-drop in play is pretty nice. So taking a look at our Gruul Cascade deck for this event, of course we're playing 4 copies of Once Upon a Time, or last chance to play with Once Upon a Time in Standard, and the 1-drop that we can find off of the Cascade Emblem is Pelt Collector, nice 1 mana 1-1, one, one, that will start accumulating plus 1 plus 1 counters as we play larger creatures, and that the Cascade event is quite kind to Pelt Collector, because let's say we play a 2-drop like Paradise Druid, then the Cascade will happen first, we get the Pelt Collector, which is the only one drop in our deck, and then Paradise Root enters the battlefield, and Pelt Collector accumulates a plus one plus one counter. So Pelt Collector is kind of the perfect fit for this event, especially combined with Once Upon a Time. Another way to approach this deck is to build it kind of as an adventure deck, where we have the Innkeeper at one mana instead of Pelt Collector, and then we can replace some of our creatures with adventure creatures. So we would have Lovestruck Beast at three mana, the full playset of Bonecrusher Giant. At two mana we can play Rimrock Knight instead of Paradise Root, for example and then we wouldn't be playing with Skarg and Hellkite at 5, but uh, we can still play with Questing Beast, so the deck would change a little bit, but it would still be very similar, we still get to play with Embercleave once upon a time, and a powerful 1-drop, but uh, Pelt Collector is a little bit more synergistic in this event than the Innkeeper, because the Innkeeper cares about when you cast an adventure card, whereas Pelt Collector cares about a creature entering the battlefield, so the way the Cascade works makes it uh, much better for Pelt Collector, because if we cast a 2-drop adventure and find Innkeeper, we don't get to draw a card right away, whereas the Pelt Collector will still pick up a plus 1 plus 1 counter. So that's enough about adventure, so let's talk about the deck we're actually playing. So we've got the 4 Pelt Collectors at 1 mana, then at 2 mana we're playing the full playset of Crawl Harpooner, just as a nice 2 mana 3 powered creature, and if we expect lots of copies of Gilded Goose from our opposing decks, then uh, Crawl Harpooner of course gets even better as we get to potentially take out the 1 mana accelerant from the opponent. We also have the full playset of Paradise Druid as another mana accelerant can help us cast turn 3 Questing Beasts and turn 4 Skarg and Hellkites. And of course, thanks to the Cascade mechanic in this event that makes casting these spells even better if we can do it ahead of schedule. Then of course the 4 copies of Once Upon a Time, which is pretty busted in this event. And as you can see, it's banned in Standard, but we can still play it in this event. And then we've got the full playset of Domris Ambush as our main removal spell, which is quite good with large creatures. And then we've got the full playset of Gruul Spellbreaker, which can be a 3-3 with Haste and Trample, or a 4-4 with Trample, which are both great. We've got one copy of Bonecrusher Giant as a nice 3-mana 4-3 that we can also use the Adventure on Stomp to deal 2 damage to any target. Then at 4-mana the full playset of Questing Beast as another excellent haste threat with a lot of other abilities. And then the full playset of Skarg and Hellkind as another hasty dragon that can help us close out the game. So we've got a lot of haste creatures to end the game quickly. And then to top of our curve we've got 3 copies of Embercleave which is also excellent in this event as it counts as a 6-mana spell for Cascade even if we cast it on a discount, so if we're lucky we can even find a Skarg and Hellkind with it, and then giving one of our big creatures plus one plus one double strike and trample is a great way to end the game on the spot, especially combined with the death touch from Questing Beast. So if you want a deck that can quickly complete the event for you, this is a very good choice. And then our mana base, very straightforward, 10 mountains, 10 forests and 4 stomping ground. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play. Uh, don't love this opening hand, don't have Once Upon a Time. Double Ember Cleave is a little awkward, so let's try and do better. Alright, this hand is also missing Once Upon a Time, but we do have a pretty decent start with Belt Collector into Paradise Druid. 
So I don't think we need to keep Crawl Harpooner necessarily. I would rather just go Paradise Root into Spellbreaker. So we get to go Pelt Collector into Paradise Root, Cascade into a second Pelt Collector, and then we'll have two Pelt Collectors as two twos in play alongside Paradise Root. And of course, being on the play in this event is also a pretty big deal. Surprise, surprise, we found a Pelt Collector. So Pelt Collector resolves first. And they both pick up a plus one plus one counter. All right. And then next turn we can cast a Gruel Spellbreaker. Ideally finds a three powered creature. And then we can make Spellbreaker 4-4. Four, four. So we'll have two 4-4 four, four Pelt Collectors attacking which will also gain Trample. Opponent with Priest finding Cauldron Familiar. Bonecrusher Giant, an interesting find. So, I've got a few options. I could just stomp the Priest and get another Pelt Collector, which would be decent. Or I can ignore the Priest and then hope to find Crawl Harpooner of the Cascade. I think Priest is a little bit too risky, so I'm just gonna stomp it here. Get another Pelt Collector. And attack for four. And then next turn we can drop the Spellbreaker. Or I can even go for Ember Cleave if I want to. Right, another Priest. Finds... A claim the firstborn, it's not too bad, as they probably won't be able to sacrifice my Pelt Collector. I guess they could have a Witch's Oven that they cast here. Another claim the firstborn. Well, they could have given their Priest haste with claim the firstborn, because you can target your own creature, and then they could have sacrificed Pelt Collector and Familiar. Instead, they decide to just go for the damage, which is fine by me. Alright, there's Crawl Harpooner, but now I think we've got uh, different aspirations here. I think we just jam Spellbreaker and see what happens. Ideally find a Crawl Harpooner with Cascade. Uh, not a Pelt Collector, so we've got all four now. And then I think I'm just making it haste because it still grows all the Pelt Collectors. Get in for a bit of damage, and then next turn we can maybe look to end the game with Ember Cleave. A Legion's End here would be pretty sad, so that's the one card we don't want to see. All right, Noxious Grasp, that's fine. And our opponent gets a Witch's Oven. Still grows all the Pelt Collectors. And my opponent has given up. Alright, so we didn't need Once Upon a Time, just a good old-fashioned beating with Pelt Collectors. Alright, so on the draw. Yeah, this seems good enough. Once upon a time, pretty good to have in our opening hand. Wouldn't mind finding a Pelt Collector with the Once Upon a Time. Opponent with a Vicious Rumors, that's interesting. And um, I guess, what do we discard here? Hellkite? This is also one of those rare instances where you want to cast Once Upon a Time in the opponent's end step, so you can attack with the Pelt Collector right away. So we find Pelt Collector from Cascade, and we also find one 
from Once Upon a Time itself. So I get to cast a Pelt Collector here. Now I'm missing a 2-drop, which would have been uh, kind of the cherry on top. But still a pretty decent start. Burglar Rats, alright, I'll discard a Mountain. And the rest is gonna miss. So my opponent on a discard heavy deck. No 2 drop sadly. Don't really want to offer the trade. So we'll just play this tapped. But yeah, imagine having a 2 drop here as well. Would have been pretty nice. But hopefully next turn we get to jam Spellbreaker into Questing Beast. And then uh, the Pelt Collectors should be attacking us 4-4 four, four Tramplers. Another Burglar Rats. Opponent is Black Green and another Vicious Rumors. Alright, I'm not gonna have many cards left at the end of this. I guess Questing Beast can go. A go go spellbreaker. It would have been reasonable to go Paradise Druid first, but I guess this worked out. So Paradise Druid grows spell collectors, and spellbreaker will grow them once again. And I could make this a 4 4 in case they kill the spellbreaker, the pelt collectors grow, but I also don't mind just smashing here. Alright, and now with Paradise Druid in play, if I top deck a Questing Beast, I can cast it. It's gonna be Davriel finding the rest. But Davriel can make me discard Paradise Druid. So yeah, keeping Spellbreaker in hand would not have worked out in the face of all these discard spells. Harpooner, pretty good draw. Can find another Pelt Collector. Sadly, doesn't grow the 3-3s, three because Undergrowth is a trigger. But uh, still happy to attack my point with everyone. Does the Paradise Druid attack? Uh, maybe that one can stay back. Sure. I think we can ignore Davriel. So what don't we want to see here? Legion's End would be pretty good against us. Ritual of Soots. Fan Lurker is fine. And yeah, opponent explodes. Pelt Collector too strong. Got a nice Fae of Wishes alternate arts. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, on the play, and this hand is pretty much perfect. Once upon a time, Pelt Collector. So we get to have the dream start. So we'll start with Once Upon a Time. Get our free Pelt Collector. And what do I grab here? I guess Forest is fine. And leave the other Pelt Collector in the deck so we can cascade into it. Next turn I get to play Crawl Harpooner, cascade into a third Pelt Collector. And they'll all pick up a plus one plus one counter. And it's gonna be pretty hard for my opponent to beat that start. Alright, looks like our opponent has given up here. Well, it doesn't get faster than this. So, we're almost done with the event here. Got a nice Lovestruck Beast, alternate art, and one more to go. Alright, we're on the draw, and yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Turn 1 Collector into turn 2 Paradise Roots, a pretty explosive start. Even if we're missing the Once Upon a Time opponent also on Gruul.
I'll take one. And the Lovestruck Beasts adventure. That's fine. Eh, time to play Paradise Druids. Get our two Pelt Collectors going. The Lovestruck Beast will be a pretty big roadblock, but I can maybe try and take it out with Hellkites combined with Domri's Ambush. There's the Beast. Finds a Zurta Goblin, which will also grow the Pelt Collector. And attacks for three. Questing Beast is an excellent draw. Let's see what we get. Spellbreaker, so... I could make a hasty Spellbreaker, but I didn't think I'm attacking here into the 5-5, five five, so might as well make it big. But, uh... Don't mind attacking with the Questing Beast itself. Opponent trades for the Lovestruck Beasts. Alright, they've got their own Questing Beast. And finds another Zurta Goblin. So do I want to trade Pelt Collectors here? Could see trading one creature here. Don't know if I want to trade two. So how about I trade here, take four, and then next turn I can ambush killing Pelt Collector. And now the Nexus Emblem only triggers once per turn, but I think I still want to cast a second Domri's Ambush here, so that my uh, Pelt Collectors get to have profitable attacks. And then if I still cast a 2-drop in the future, I'll be able to get that last Belt Collector out of the deck. And then my more expensive cards will be hitting more expensive creatures as well instead of Belt Collectors, which is good. So now do I want to make a 6-6 six, six or two 5-5s? Five, five? I guess two 5-5s five, five might be better. These get to attack. Opponent down to six, and then the Hellkite can maybe get the job done here. Spellbreaker finds yet another Zurta Goblin. And yeah, opponent explodes just too far behind on board. And the Hellkite was going to be a pretty good way to close out this game as well. Alright, sweet. So, some pretty quick wins off of uh, Once Upon a Time and Pelt Collector in this event. It's your last chance to play with Once Upon a Time in a standard environment. So, give it a try if you're interested in unlocking some of these alternate arts. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.